Fieldwork is an exciting and fundamental part of geology. As geologists, we study processes, properties and natural resources in the Earth system. In order to do this, it's crucial that we get out into the field to make observations and measurements of the rocks in the wild and collect samples for further study. In a geology degree, we have awesome opportunities to get outside, learn about the earth beneath your feet and equip yourself with the skills you need for a wide range of career options, some of which involve being outside and travelling. In this video, I'll introduce you to some of the fantastic field work we get up to here at the University of Portsmouth. What we've been doing in our mapping classes throughout the term, we learn to apply them in the field. And then we wouldn't have been able to do that if we didn't come here and see uh, in practice. I've learned more about the Jurassic coastline um, and how it's formed over time. And I've learned about depositional environments and changing in energy environments. Um, going along like the handout, it was what we come here for, you know, to look at look at both the coves and see like the order of the rocks are in from like age. And yeah, the weather's been better today, so that's good, that's what I expected, like some decent weather. I prefer to yesterday when it rained, but it's been good. In our geology degrees at the University of Portsmouth, we take advantage of our fantastic location on the world famous Jurassic Coast to explore some great local geology. We also travel further afield, hopping on the ferry over to Brittany exploring some first-class geological locations in southwest England and Cornwall and heading up to the beautiful northwest highlands of Scotland. Some of our geology lecturing team, including myself, were recently up in the highlands. Let's find out what we got up to and what you can expect during field work. I love being out in the field and although I research and teach about a wide range of geological processes this is really why I'm a geologist. I'm currently in the northwest highlands of Scotland where there's some absolutely fantastic rocks. I've been lucky enough during my career to travel all over the world from the Himalayas up to the Arctic and really that's my favourite thing about being a geologist, about travelling, looking at diverse ranges of places and rocks and really understanding the processes that have deformed our planet. Field trips can be a challenge for some students and so we are working to make all trips as accessible as possible and also providing virtual field trip alternatives for those unable to get out into the field. So I thought I'd um, record this little video for you just to explain a little bit more about what field work is actually like so that you can be the most prepared to have fun in the field. I'm in Quacktoll right now, which is an absolutely lovely place in the northern part of Scotland. Um, you can see out over the islands and the hillsides and the mountains. This is a really nice place and today we've had some lovely weather. It has been really sunny, it's not quite so sunny anymore, but it's still pretty good weather. And so when you're on field trips, you can expect to have a really fun time out in some absolutely beautiful places, um, hopefully in some fairly nice weather and sometimes it's even sunny. However, as a geologist you also need to be prepared for bad weather, so for maybe wind, for it being very cold, for it being very, very rainy and wet. 
So you need to make sure that you're well prepared for going out in the field, you've got the right kit. Excellent weather technology. Nice and wet. We're currently on the very, very wet shores of Loch Assent. And unfortunately, certainly in Scotland, it's not always sunny. But as geologists, we still need to get out into the field to look at the rocks. And that's because they can reveal some absolutely fascinating things about the processes that have defined our planet through geological time, as we've been finding out in the Northwest Highlands. I'm stood above Loch Glencool. And what is behind me is one of the most famous geological structures in the United Kingdom. I'm going to describe it for you to start off with. So at the top of the mountain we've got these grey kind of hummocky knobbly rocks. These are the Lewisian gneiss. They're some of the oldest rocks in the United Kingdom. They're 2.1 billion years old and they form felsic and mafic banded gneisses. As we come down there is a distinct break in the slope and then we have a layered package of rocks. These are sedimentary rocks of the Cambrio or Division sequence. We then come further down and see all this more hummocky, grey terrain. This again is the Louisian Nice. So we've got Louisian Nice, then we've got Cambro or Division sediments. So we're going from the Archean up into the Cambrian Ordovician, so that's kind of the right way up. But then, when we get that break of slope, we suddenly go back into the 2.1 billion year Lewisian Nice. So what's happened? Well, what ha has happened is we've got a distinct low angle thrust plane there. So the Lewisian Nice have been pushed up over along this fault plane during compression and that compression happened during the Caledonian orogeny. And this has formed the Glencore thrust. Now this is part of the larger Moyne thrust, which is one of the first places where this kind of deformation was recognised in the world. Really looking forward to guiding you through your geology degree here at the University of Portsmouth, as well as getting out in the field so we can look at some fantastic rocks in beautiful places like this.